For several years now, I've told the story of a man who cried at the sight of a few bags of groceries. This man lived in Ensenada, Mexico, and like this man, many people who live there experience the unfortunate reality of poverty. They experience the unfortunate reality of extreme poverty. That is poverty that most citizens of the U.S. or the entire audience sitting here today do not fully understand. Um, as the years go by and the details of the story I retell change, the impact it had on my life will always stay the same. It's not in Mexico is a place like no other. Um, it is a port city located on the Baja Peninsula of California, but in Mexico. So the Baja California Peninsula is what it's called. It is a place near and dear to my heart because of the orphanage, the city of children, located there. The orphanage serves 86 children um, from the age of newly born to eighth grade. They send the children to school. They provide a place, a safe haven to live. They provide a life to people who otherwise may not have it. Um, City of Children is a place that I want to continue to go the rest of my life, and there's many diverse facts about the city. There's bargaining on the streets like I've never seen. The, the, the artisans that live there, the artifacts they bargain with, the tourists who come into town are magnificent. The things that these people who have little to nothing make are astounding when you take it into consideration. And that's what is interesting to me in the story of this man. This man had two children and a wife. And every week, organizations such as my church who go down to the mission go out every Thursday on a trip called Benevolence. And benevolence is basically just giving back to the community for the sake of the fact that they have nothing and they need anything and everything we can provide them. So I went with a group of about six or seven others in my uh, mission, and we went down in the communities of Ensenada, of Mexico. And one house we stumbled upon, this man lived in with his two children, as I mentioned, and his wife. We brought them a bag of rice, a bag of beans, and just simple things that we Americans take for granted each and every day. And as we were praying over them and leaving, I remember I specifically was the person given the responsibility to pray over this household before we had left. And as I was praying, I looked up, and this man at the sight of a simple bag of bags of groceries absolutely had broken down because he knew that this was the entire sustenance of this family, what we had brought him. Nothing to us, but everything to him. The City of Children hopes to change this. The City of Children looks to give people like this a purpose in life. For me, that, that's something that's astounding and something amazing. I am very passionate about the City of Children, and it is a place that I will always visit my entire life. The man looked at me after I had prayed and said thank you with the most sincere eyes I had ever locked eyes myself with. It was probably the most life-changing experience I've ever had. He was so much, so grateful for such a little thing that we had given him. And I believe that all Americans, and I believe that all people who do not experience extreme poverty can take such immense lessons from this, and I certainly did myself. The impact Mexico holds in my life 
is answer, it's just inexplicable. It has taught me the values of gratefulness to the people. It has taught me the service to the orphanage. And it has taught me how to be truly content in life, regardless of what it is that you have, regardless if it's a million dollar house in Malibu or it's a bag of rice and a bag of black beans to survive throughout the week. And knowing that God had provided that to him, he cried out of joy because of the little thing we had, give, we had given him was the biggest thing he had received that week in his life. Without that, he knew that he had nothing. And to me, that is the most inspirational story I can give to anybody. So, in conclusion, being content isn't about what you possess. It is about what you, what possesses you. This man was possessed by God. This man was possessed by the Holy Spirit and by Jesus. And I believe that he is a testament to what we all can become if we truly believe in being content no matter what we possess.